It is November 10th. Well, just for a little while longer. I just got back from work and I started thinking about how that 8 8 Lions Gate thing, like, is 11 11? Like, are these double digit numbers? Like, are they all like weird portal times and shit like that? And is that why they have Veterans Day? During that time, I mean, is that why things are so weird? Because it does. It feels like it has been a pressure cooker. <laughs> pressure cooker. I went home. I was off yesterday. The night before was the night that I was super tired. I go into work. And I usually never have my glasses on. Like, I usually don't wear them whenever I'm at work. But I didn't even put eyeliner on. I was just like, I put my ugly Bettys on. Like, I don't give a shit. And I walked into work. And the young host, she's she's so cute. She was like, hey, girl, how you doing? I was like, I'm so good. How are you? And she was like, oh, good. I hope you got your roller skates on. You're on a party of 20 and a party of 24. And I was like, word. I went back, ate something real quick, knocked it out the park. Everything was fine. I would so rather be hammered busy than slow when I'm tired. Like, it's really depressing not making any money. And then it's just like. Well, now I'm going to compulsively clean everything, you know, so the time doesn't stand still. A lot of people will just stand around on their phones and shit. And it, I, I just, I don't touch my phone when I'm at work. It just drives me crazy. But, um, anywho, I just wanted to throw it out there to anybody who is spiritually awake, who has information but no YouTube channel yet. I have an Indigo 3 in my comments section who, thank you for sure for reaching out, buddy, like for sure. And, um, dude wasn't like, he's not like shitty or anything like that. Like he's definitely a poor Indigo 3, like a whole bunch of us here. And um, even after you know, even after you wake up, you still have to live with the things that you've done in your sleep state of consciousness. And Indigo 3s have some gnarly pasts. And for what it's worth, I mean, I, f I feel for you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to say I feel bad, but I feel for you. I've, uh, I've been through hell myself, but this guy, he, he doesn't like that I present life as a game. Um, I don't know how else to present a holographic reality that everybody is set up to lose, aka reincarnate and not spiritually wake up, or win, which is spiritually wake up and get the fuck up out of here. Um, this is a in my opinion, to me, a very important dream slash video game reality with better levels to the game, better levels to the simulation. And he doesn't like that I say that, but, and then he'll say things like, there is no you, there is no me, there's only us word. I get that. I agree with that. We are all one. We are all broken pieces 
of one. So I agree. Totally, totally agree with that. And um, because I present this in the easiest way to understand, which I think is true, that this is a video game reality. It's a dream. It's just a dream world. And we've been brainwashed to forget that this is just a dream world. And we think that everything here is so real and it's not. It's just a bunch of empty space with shit in it. And um, he doesn't like that. And so I looked and because he told me that um, I'm wrong. And so I look at his YouTube channel and he doesn't have one. He doesn't have a set up YouTube channel. He just has an account where he cruises around like a lot of people. So I said to him, okay, um, well, I went to check the information that you have to offer, but you don't have any. So I'm new to this. I just, you know, went balls to the wall and flipped a camera on winging it. And um, if you know so much, please share your information. Start yourself a YouTube channel and come on out. The water's fine. You know, why don't you try to help and guide all of these freshly awakening and go threes because there's a shitload of us. And obviously the spiritual content creators that have existed until now are very janky. And he goes, no, thank you. My information isn't for everybody. <laughs> okay, keep your secrets then. Keep your secrets then. If you're going to respond like that, like you're sitting on some honey hole of information, um, to me, what I'm hearing you say is, I don't have the balls to come forward and put my face and name out there and risk looking like a jack off like everybody else is risking. Even to the spiritual content creators out there who I don't agree with, all of the way, any of the way, I still respect the balls that it takes people to do this shit. I respect it. And it doesn't matter if certain people have Fist of the North anime drama. These content creators are all saying things that pieces of it are true. I can hear it everywhere. And it's called discernment. It's called there's not enough time in the friggin' world to go through with a fine tooth comb and listen to every single thing everybody has to say and weed through it. Like, who gives a shit? It is to me because I've looked at enough information so far. I am at a totally 100% understanding of it is so atrocious what has happened here and what big religion has done. It is so disgusting that I don't understand how all of the people looking at Trump going, oh yeah, if he's doing these tribunals or if he has anything to do with the mass murder of the enemy, he is the enemy. He is a piece of the faction 
of enemies. And if you think that he's not, I think that you should stop looking at his hot daughter going, no way, there's no way. These people aren't in on the agendas. They are. They are working some Anunnaki Israel agendas. And to the people out there who watch spiritual content creators throw the fact that Queen Bee's unattractive daughter is up on stage now throwing Illuminati signs just like her mummy who looks like an ancient sea hag actually up there doing all kinds of satanic ritual symbols and doing all kinds of shit up on stage with her mother. And these kids, like our kids, are not kids. That is a huge misconception. And why don't you keep an eye on Blue, a.k.a. if bacterial vaginosis had a face, it'd be that creature. Why don't you watch what that terroristic thing does with her mommy on stage? And then look at those Jenner Scott critters. Look how cute they are. It's not like they have faces only a mother could love. They're cute. Yeah. Can't wait to see what the fuck they do. Can't wait to see what the hell they get into when they grow up with the Kardashian cult of witches at their head, teaching them. So, yeah, I don't know. I've only been awake a year, and if anybody's been awake longer than me who thinks I'm wrong about something, start a YouTube channel. Let me see what you know. Or be like my new buddy in the comment section, call him Buddy B, who offers insight, who will give his opinion and go, hey, I don't agree with you here, but here's why, and here's the other things I've looked at. Yes, mommy likes that, yes. I'm trying to learn. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I'm trying to learn. And if I'm trying to learn, there is going to be a shitload more people trying to learn if they aren't already. And if you have such valuable information that you think that it's just for you. It's not for the world. There is no you. There is no me. There is no the world. It's just us. Remember? So that doesn't make any sense. If your information is just for you, then that information's for us because we're all one. Ha 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 ha!